The torque converter uses transmission fluid to transfer torque from the engine to the transmission. What are the three main parts of the torque converter? One side is bolted to the engine's flex plate. The other side drives the fluid pump. One of the internal components is the stator. It is responsible for torque multiplication at lower speeds. It sits on a one-way clutch, aka overrunning clutch. One-way clutch equals overrunning clutch. These freewheel in one direction and are locked in the other. At lower speeds, the stator is locked and torque multiplication happens. At higher speeds, during the coupling phase, the stator rotates in the opposite direction and freewheels. No torque multiplication happens. So if the stator becomes defective and freewheels in both directions, then no torque multiplication will happen at lower speeds. The vehicle will have poor acceleration, poor performance at lower speeds, but will be fine at higher speeds. If the stator is locked at all times, performance is normal at lower speeds, but will have poor performance at higher speeds. Any of the faults listed, the torque converter must be replaced. Next is the torque converter clutch. From here on, we will refer to it as the TCC. The TCC is used to provide a mechanical link between the engine and the transmission. This is for fuel economy. On early OBD2 vehicles, the TCC could engage at speeds above 50 miles per hour, but modern vehicles commonly engage at speeds above 35 miles per hour. The operation of the TCC is checked via a road test. Reach the speed in which the TCC engages, commonly 35 miles per hour, and verify that the scan tool registers it as applied. Feel the engagement quality and the RPMs should drop at least 150. You will then hit the brakes and the TCC should disengage and RPMs should increase. If the TCC does not apply, a mechanical connection will not exist, only a fluid connection. The engine will have to work harder to create power to overcome the 10% power loss on a fluid connection. This will result in increased RPMs and a decrease in fuel economy. If the TCC is applied at all times, a mechanical connection exists between the engine and the transmission at all times. This will make the engine stall or die out when coming to a stop. The most common culprit is a sticking or dirty TCC solenoid. Next, you should know which inputs and conditions affect TCC apply. The most common conditions are the TCC engages above a minimum speed, at normal operating temperature, and at a specific gear. Know how a change in one of these conditions will affect TCC apply. For example, a high load disengages the TCC. Load is usually calculated by the MAP sensor. So a bad MAP sensor can trick the PCM into thinking the vehicle is always under high load. The TCC would never engage. In another example, another condition for TCC apply is the engine must be at normal operating temperature. If you install a thermostat that makes the engine run cooler, then you will never reach operating temperature and the TCC will never apply. Look out for issues like these. I'll end this section with one question. All of these affect the apply of the TCC except A. Speed B. Engine temperature C. Brake switch or D. The fuel level. I'll end the video with two official ASE sample questions found on their official study guide. Too much automatic transmission shaft end play could be caused by any of these except a worn clutch, selective washer, transmission case, or planetary carrier. One of those is not on the transmission when you measure shaft end play. Which one can it be? The next one, a vehicle with an automatic transaxle and a properly tuned engine accelerate poorly from a stop. Acceleration is normal above 35 miles per hour. Which of these could be the cause? A worn front pump, a failed torque converter, a worn planetary gear set, or low fluid level. And that's it. See ya in video number two. We'll talk line pressure.